shit. Well, I would say your best bet is probably Steam, but then again, I would probably just wait until they have, uh, unless you wanted to get it right now. Best bet is to probably wait until Steam does sales all the time. You guys weren't paying attention. You're supposed to know where I'm. I have to go. Isn't that how it works? Five bucks. But that was for uh, PlayStation 2, wasn't it? That'll work. You can always do that. I think I found the way I'm supposed to go. Move out! Find cover! We can't let the American... Unlimited supply, apparently. Why does this look like a secret? Right. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Yeah! Watch it crash, and then I'm gonna have to load it right there. Yeah, I knew it. It always see that's the thing you got to remember if you buy this game if you don't play it in 4x3 resolution it'll crash during the uh, cinematics so what I did was I bound I bound my 
F3 key to t change it to a 4x3 resolution, and then my F1 key to bind it bound back at a... Uh, Sixteen by nine resolution, like so. Okay. It's been so long they didn't even have sixteen by nine resolution settings in this damn thing. All right, Madame Blavatsky will begin the ceremony any time now. Once she begins, make sure that you do not look in the direction. What? What will happen if we? If you look, well, first your blood will begin to boil, and after that, well, it doesn't matter very much after that, yeah. Stand your post here and make sure you do not lose power. Understood? Gavol. Was that this part? <laughs> Which part was it? Oh, yeah, that was before the, uh... That's with the, uh, the half-man guys that have the electricity underneath their bodies, too. <laughs> Those guys are terrible. They just one-shot you. Terrible is an understatement, really. They're absolutely fucking horrible. I think I was there, if it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before I was there. I got the minigun, and I couldn't get past that first guy that comes out of the cage because of that electricity shit. Where am I going here? Oh, what? How did they see me? They got night vision? I'm not even sure if my PlayStation 2 even works anymore. But it would probably look just as good. Just as good as, uh, as this. Well, man. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> can't remember. I think it wasn't PlayStation 2 released in 2001, I think. 2000. all the bullets. Ah. Did you not get um, PlayStation 3?
Any classics like, um, you mean like Return to Cla Castle Wolfenstein? Well, let's see, all I gotta really do is think of the games that I used to play back then. Battlefield 1942, uh, Unreal Tournament, um, what was the, there was a game that was in competition with this one, and I can't think of the name, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, that was in competition with this game when it was released. Uh, and that game is really good as well. Shit, actually, I may reinstall that and play that game after this, after I beat this. But, um, God, what else? Let me see. I have a ton of, like, classic games installed. Uh, Al Alice, if you ever played that. Um,. Doom 3 is sort of a classic, I guess. You got Half-Life 1, obviously. Um, uh, let's see. Mafia. Um, let's see if I got anything else in there. The rest of them are like real-time strategy games, you know, like Age of the Empires, um, Black and White. Uh, oh yeah, I remember System Shock. There was Sin. Um, what was it? There was that one. Of course, the Quake games. If you were into those. Um, I think it's pretty much it that I can think of off the top of my head. There's the Deadly Dozen, of course, which is probably the hardest game ever made for PC. <laughs> And I don't recommend playing unless you enjoy, unless you're a masochist, or and enjoy hurting yourself. Deadly Dozen, yeah. You, you would have to look it up on, um, it's a World War II game, and you control four different guys, and it's a third person or a first person shooter. And, like, you can go between it, first and third. And you can switch between the guys, and basically, I mean, it was, it was... It was based off of uh, real-life World War II missions. Like, there was this huge statement about the game and all that stuff. But it's extremely fucking hard. Like, the AI doesn't just cheat. They're... they're it's just insane. I, I could never beat that game. And if you play that game on, like, hard difficulty... No, you're thinking the Dirty Dozen. Well, for all I know, they may, they may have based it off the Dirty Dozen, but um, all I remember is that game is hard. I could not beat that game for the life of me on uh, the harder difficulty. Like, the easy difficulty, it's nothing, but like me even medium, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, there's the Alone in the, in the, Alone in the Dark. Forgot about those games. And, of course, all the con you know console games, if you're into that. Like, I would have to go through my stash, but... Uh, you know, there's all the original Res Resident Evil games that I like a lot. Um, I don't know if they had... Because you're thinking more like PC games. I can't really think of any that weren't, um, like, real-time strategy. Like, Empire Earth is my favorite real-time strategy. And there was um, the dawn, the dawn of uh, civilization. Then there was a the whole civilization, civil 